Through the years, uh, I drifted into horse racing at the Baltimore Sun. Uh, when uh, writing general sports and then sort of, as I say, drifted into horse racing, it was an opening and the sun was expanding coverage and I was picked as one of the new reporters on the Maryland circuit. And we covered all the racing, uh, some of the half milers, but mainly the mile tracks in those days. And that was in the uh, later 40s, 1940s. And that's where I met uh, Jim McManus McKay. He was a police reporter on The Sun, and they drafted him into their new acquirement, require, um, acquirement which was a uh, Channel 2, which was the first TV in Baltimore in 1946, I believe. And anyway, Jim was drafted as a staff announcer, and eventually we did the first uh, what they called remote broadcast out of studio in Baltimore in 1947, October. And uh, incidentally, I believe it's going to be the 65th anniversary coming up this fall in uh, 2012. We went to Pimlico without any scripts, one camera, and uh, uh, covered a short meeting, two-week meeting in the fall. And how it went, I don't know. I mean, there was no record of it. There, they had no uh, tapes in those days. And it just went on the air, and that was it. And if people criticized it or whatnot, well, that was the, that's what resulted. But it, but it was fun, and... Uh, as I say, we had no instructions. We, we didn't know exactly what to do. We covered two races. We tried to get people up for interviews and stuff like that. And it went very, very well, I guess, because the next year it was repeated until the networks took over and then, you know, television kept developing and developing. But I think um, when, when we were on the air with that first broadcast, uh, mainly people saw it in bars or in restaurants because there were very few home sets receiving the signal. And uh, then Jim went on to uh, different uh, occupations in TV and sort of lost track of them for a few years until he, he hooked up with... Uh, Rune Arledge on the ABC and eventually on the wide world of sports. And Jim was a natural for that. 